depending on who the wyvern attack first dep it, it 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 depends on the whole run so if he attacks dn on the very first uh attack i'm going to win <laughs> it, it's just simple as that i'm going to win he didn't even have a second skill but that's okay let's see Hey, what's going on, knights? Name is the gamer. Welcome back to another epic video. So today, oh. hey, what's going on, knights? Name is the gamer. Welcome back to another epic video. So today, I literally just recorded the golden video, and I'm going to record this one right back to back. I didn't feel like I wanted to make it like a 30-minute video, so here it is. And like I said in the last video, if you're new here. I this by no means is the perfect guide per se this is just me um, kind of showing my perspective on how I am beating a wyvern so if you're like oh well this can uh, do better than this this and that yeah uh, go ahead and leave in the comment section down below M I might just be talking out of my butt here not knowing what I'm doing but all I know is that this um, this wine, this wine, this, I was going to say Wyvern 9 and that came out wine. What? <laughs> Anyways, um, Wyvern, my, not, can I speak? Wyvern 9 has been one of the toughest obstacles next to 10-10 when I didn't have a, a cleanser or anything like that. Um, actually, I think back then it was harder to, anyways, I'm getting off topic. Here, weird team, right? Weird, extremely weird team. This team works. I've tried so many combinations. I put Sez in there. I put uh, so many other things. I put uh, Scurry in there. Nothing was working. And I six started like good gear as well. And I'm like, bro, like, what's going on? So let let's talk about like like we said in in, in the Golem video. Let's talk about what makes this guy hard. Uh, so what does this guy make? Uh, why is this guy difficult? Okay, first off. He's extremely fast. So you either have to build an extremely fast team or a tanky team. So to me, to be honest, depending on who the Wyvern attack first, dep it, 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 it depends on the whole run. So if he attacks Dien on the first, on, on, on the, on the very first uh, attack, I'm going to win. <laughs> it, it's just simple as that. I'm going to win because Dien can tank it and he misses a lot with her anyways. Um, so what does he do? He lands poison, and if he does not have two debuffs, then he will attack again. Now that's what makes nine and eight such a big difference. First off, the resistance on nine and eight is such a big jump. I think, like I said in the Golem, I think it's the same thing in Wyvern, where it went from forty to I'm um, forty. 50% resistance to 70%? Um, I know it's 70% or something like that. It's something high up there. So you need to have really good accuracy. That's that's something I need to make a point here. Uh, accuracy. Uh, effectiveness, effectiveness, effectiveness. That is extremely important here. Even DN has effectiveness. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Um, but Crayon, Sermia, and uh, Haste have, all have effectiveness. If I didn't, I like I would try to find anywhere I can get effectiveness on any gear, and that's why I keep farming anywhere for me to get them on effectiveness because this this stay this guy where, where is he? At? Oops. This guy right here. If you don't land the debuffs, he will wreck your whole team. So okay, so then he has um, wait, what is this one? Okay, so this one uh, he has the barrier, which you need to get rid of extremely quickly so why this team why this team let's talk about the end first and we'll go down the line so the end obviously she's a really good tank she has the crit she has a crit resist and then the attack buff good she has the shield cleanse good the shield and cleanse helps so much because like i said he if he attacks twice on any of my attackers uh it won't do too much hopefully and then on top of that, she has the first skill heal because she has Celestial. So 
She's excellent frontline tank for me. She does have decent defense and HP for me to, and speed for me to have her up there. So that's something you really need, especially for Deanne, the way I'm using her. I have her extremely high speed so she can outspeed the Wyvern. So in case she doesn't, he doesn't go after one of, uh, in case he doesn't go after DN and he goes after one of my attackers, I hope that he will not land a crit with her anti-crit or she has a shield so he, he won't do as much damage. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fluff the damage, survive. Because if any of these guys die, it's done. Uh, of course, Haste. Haste is insane here. He's the god <laughs> of Wyvern, I feel. He does so many debuffs. First skill, bleed. Second skill, the vampire, the vampiric bite, and then the heal recovery debuff. And then the third skill, bleed. All skills bleed, so guess what? You need effectiveness, effectiveness, effectiveness. I'm putting a stamp on this because you seriously need effectiveness on him or you will die. The only time that you really don't need debuffs is when he's gonna do his tail swing. That's really the only time because then he won't he won't tail swing twice. So that's really the only time. Okay, so that's all I have to say about him. He's on good speed. You don't have to have him on extremely high speed. Have some speed on him so he can land the debuffs as soon as possible. Sir Mia. Big, 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 big damage. You can use Luna. You can use um, Sez if you have a defense break. I've tried using Sez, like I said. Maybe it's because he's not skilled up. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Uh, not skilled up too much. I have him skilled up, just not too much. Sir Mia, she's, ex uh, she's an ex extremely good hero here. She lands a heal a recovery debuff. And then she does uh, extreme nuke damage, which is... She does it twice, practically. So she gets a big chunk out even if she doesn't crit she does like 10,000 on a non crit which is insane so that's really good and she does have an, some effectiveness on here now you're probably wondering why the heck crayon I have no idea <laughs> I'm sorry I can't I, I, I can't tell you why I've tried everything I've tried putting says in here I've tried like those three up there Deanne, Haste and Sermia are good and I was like, okay, they're good, but the last slot, I can't figure out who. I've tried so many people, nobody was working. This guy, for whatever reason, works. He does have, for some reason, like the, the gear put on him, they, it just kept landing effectiveness. So he does have really high effectiveness, I believe like 39% or 40 something percent, 46%, I believe, or something like that, uh, effectiveness. So his first skill has a big chance to land that decrease hit chance. And then on top of that, he does have big nuke damage with his third skill. And then uh, he self-attack buffs. And then on top of that, he's not easy to die. He does have that immortality um, buff. So even if even if the Wyvern does target him, guess what? He's not going to die. Because if we have the Vampiric Touch, he's going to heal off of the third skill he's going to use right then and there. And then Celestia will heal him practically back up. And then the Wyvern will be like, wait, who was I attacking? So let's go ahead and just uh, jump right into it. I want to, um, I want y'all to kind of see. Um, hopefully, I can it can fail because, like I said, I, it's weird for me to say that, right? Um, this uh, crap! I, I forgot where I was going. Um, and like I, like I was saying in the last video as well, this team is not a hundred percent team. It is around like an 80 90 percent team it does fail sometimes and if it fails i'm like oh well uh this team has been able to uh, have been able to beat the levels like like consistently so i just keep it at this i i, I don't try to change anything this is what i'm keeping it at so as long as they're winning i'm good i hate when she does this because it's such a waste of a nuke but it's okay the cooldowns are very low so uh, she, she's okay. Okay, so we're right at the boss now. So let's see what happens here. Who do, does he go first? No. So no buffs. Let's see who he, who he goes after first. He didn't even have his second skill, but that's okay. Let's see who goes after. Okay, so he goes after her. Does she die? No, she doesn't die, so we're good. We're not losing. We're not losing. But what makes this... What makes this... Um, hard like i said he does randomly target people like if he would have targeted the end would have been all good but because he did that he have even done his vampiric thinking that's really weird why the heck does he not do it 
Anyways, um, we're still alive. <laughs> and for some reason, the wyvern didn't go after me after that. So it's okay. So let's go ahead and hopefully land some debuffs here. Every, I, I'm talking so much about oh you need you need uh, effectiveness, and now when I'm trying to make the video on it, so <laughs> nobody's landing anything. That's okay. He put up his shield. Let's get rid of that as soon as possible, Sermia. Can we do that? I don't know if it lands a crit because it doesn't even say if it lands a crit or not. So it kind of sucks. Either way, you do have time here because his speed does decrease like. Like, you can tell how slow he is. You can outrun him practically so much. So, um, this is this is a good time for you to for them to actually land debuffs while this is happening. So, hopefully he gets to... He gets to land some bleeds here. Unfortunately, the bleeds kind of suck because it takes effect first. And then... Um, and then he moves. So, it's not that... So, if they're... So, like, right now. Th these two debuffs next turn will not count because he will okay luckily we he will get hit by it first do you know what i mean i hope i'm explaining myself well you see so he would have attacked twice there if i did if um Ace didn't land the that second skill so all right so it's going okay everybody's still alive like i said sometimes i get kind of a panic attack i guess to say because i never know when this when uh, this is gonna fail or pass okay so luckily luckily it didn't uh she didn't die there and luckily they haven't really um died too much died too much yes uh, what am i saying this is why i shouldn't do live streams <laughs> okay so um let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen here because it looks like can we get a oh no look there we go very nice dead now, like I said, this team is not 100% like you saw. I kind of got lucky. She does have some tanky stats, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over them so y'all can see what I mean. Um, if you didn't see my last golem video, then this one you're going to probably see. It. Or if you're watching both, then you're going to see it again, okay? So this one, health, effective resistance, so it kind of helps so he doesn't land the poison on there. Uh, <laughs> the defense, for some reason here, Health percentage here, uh, defense percentage here, and effective resistance again, and then effectiveness again here, and then this one has, um, uh, well, this was just a regular one, uh, doesn't have any tanky stats, but she does have 3k attack, she does have 800 defense, 7000 health, and almost 150 speed with 20% effectiveness, which is why I say effective. I like it isn't like, oh my gosh, she did 80% effectiveness. No, I'm not trying to focus that on her. Like, it's kind of like the substat you want to, like, kind of the third substat, fourth substat you want to have um, when it comes to, like, uh, attacker gear. Of course, you want to go attack percentage, crit hit chance, and crit damage, and speed, I guess. And did I already say speed? I don't know. I, I, look at where, where I'm going. Okay, so anyways. And then look, look at her effectiveness. You see, you need so much <laughs> effectiveness. No, you don't. Okay, so um, she is on... Effect, like effective resistance is almost at 58%. That's what you kind of need that because sometimes for me anyways, the wyvern does target her a lot and then she gets like, if it wasn't for resistance, she'd be landing, she, he'd be landing so many poisons. So yeah, and then the health, um, 13, 30, almost 13,000, defense 1,000, speed 184. That's what you need. I want her to get so many turns because I want her to put the shield up as much as possible, anti crit as much as possible, attack as much as possible. So yeah, then we have Mr. Haste here. Extremely weird, weird build. Just like I said in the golden video, I'm going to say it here. This is not a recommended build for like overall. I'm using him specifically for PVP and this is how, this is, he's just working like this. I focus speed, effectiveness, and health. So basically what you see here is what I wanted on him. And uh, anything, and, and if it would land on anything, I'm like, okay, cool. But it got low rolls on speed, so it, that kind of sucks. It's like, yeah, like night speed is okay, but if it would have gone higher or at least some effectiveness would be nice. Um, but here as well, effectiveness, speed, and health, what I'm looking for in him. And he has ended the main status defense percentage, which makes him a lot tankier. This one uh, does have attack percentage, but that's not something I was solely focusing on. Like I said, I wanted to get him on just tanky stats, effectiveness. So he can just land the debuffs, which you saw he wasn't landing any. And he's on 70, a freaking whopping 70% effectiveness. Yay! But because he does have 70% uh, resistance, it kind of just cancels out. So it's like a hit or miss. 
dab like this. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> um, effectiveness here, speed, crit hit, and crit damage. This is actually an excellent um, gear for him if I was uh, trying to get him for a attacker. But I'm not doing that um, at the moment. So, And as I was saying that, it's attack percentage. I know it's attack percentage, but it does have health and defense. It's an overall good gear for him. This one's effectiveness. I don't care about the substats. I just wanted the main stat there. And then I just talked about this one. And then his OP artifact. I'm sorry. Not everybody has that one. But yeah, that's it. And then, of course, my boy, Crayon. 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 Okay. 2K. Uh, oh, I say 2K attack. 3K attack. 700 defense. 7,000 uh, health. And 136 speed. Not impressive speed, but that's not really what I was focusing on. Uh, this one is 29% freaking effectiveness. Could have landed anywhere. Freaking attack. Crit hit, speed, nope, let's go on effectiveness. But it's okay, I really don't mind with that. This one I'm trying to change out for a better gear. Yeah, it has overall like good stats. Effectiveness, crit hit, attack, there's no bad stat on here. But I want better stats, I want speed, I want crit hit, crit damage, you know, all that good stuff. And yeah, this one is a, uh, I feel like I'm going to change this one. The only thing that's good here is defense and speed. But because he's doing okay with this one on, I'm not trying to focus too much on this one. You know, crit damage, defense percentage, crit hit and attack percentage. This one, of course, lands effective resistance, which is awesome on Crayon. I don't... I don't know. It's, it's such a sad day when you see this. And then attack percentage here. Of course, it just has speed and health. It's like, uh, this one could be better, but... It's kind of risky to craft these boots, so I don't uh, try to craft boots too often. I try to craft these because they are these are more um, you know they're gonna be flat stats for primary stat. So all you're gonna be practically looking for is the substats. When it comes to the boots, you would have to kind of roll the dice on both uh, main and substats, which kind of sucks because you can get the perfect substats, but if you get flat attack, what's the use? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that. That's basically it. That's my team. His stats, 46% effectiveness, which is why he land he lands the... Did he land the decreased uh, hit chance? I didn't even see. But yeah, so hopefully I, the only thing I, I can try to improve on him would be speed. Uh, he's extremely slow, even though he has extremely fast base speed. He has 125 base speed, which is pretty insane. But yeah, and I'm trying to awaken him fully. I don't know. I think he gets... Oh, he gets speed. So he gets... He goes up to 129 base speed. Which is insane. But yeah, so, and he's still the slowest one on my team. But yeah, so again, thank you very much for watching. I'm running out of voice because I've been talking for so much. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section down below, just like I said in the golden video. Let me know in the comment section down below what stage you're on and what do you use so I can kind of dissect and see what y'all use. Maybe I can make a video, a separate video off of y'all's comments and kind of be like, okay. You're using this because of this. You're going, this turn order is going like this. Um, and yeah, so, and also if you're probably asking, oh, you can use Axe God. He has defense break. He has bleed. I've tried using him and his defense break is on too long of a cooldown. And to me personally, I don't want to invest like insane, so much insane amount on him just yet. Um, which is kind of weird to say because I just talked about how I invested so much on um, a lot of characters just for a certain stage but um, I feel like he I, I tried using him and there was like I felt like it wouldn't do much of a difference like yeah I would probably nuke him down faster but I feel like my team is doing okay time I don't need and also I get it this team might not work on 10 or 11 but it is currently working for me on nine and like I said I would love to know y'all's teams anything um, I'm going to try I'm going to keep trying to max their gear so I can go up higher of course I'm actually currently um, if you didn't uh, watch the random stream that I fail fairly did I'm trying to do 62 so I'm trying to get up there so I can actually have more to summon so hopefully by um, by collab time I have 50 more summons or even if if I don't get it on the first summon session then guess what I have a 50 for backup so I can uh, try to uh, attempt to get them again so like I said thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video every like comment subscription is appreciated I hope to see y'all in the next one all right peace